Welcome back, Cheap Beats Garage. Today we're going to see if we can get a 1971 International to start. It hasn't been on the road since, well, according to the plates, 1996. So it's been sitting for quite some time. The engine's not stuck. It is missing the radiator. I did put a battery in it. I did confirm that it will crank from under the hood anyway. There's no key for it, so I'm going to have to hot wire the coil. But anyway, it's got a, according to the line setting ticket, it's got a 392 in it. Of course, it's got a four barrel carburetor on it too, so that's kind of a little telltale, even though there were a few 345s that had a four barrel as well, but probably not too many of them. And apparently kids broke the windshield and the side windows out of it. So that was really nice and handy of them. And it's been open for quite some time. But the old thing for uh, International is not terrible bad of shape. Considering wise. And it's got something that a lot of them don't have. And that's a tailgate. You walk around in this damn frickin' infested chiggers and everything else to try and walk around the side of this thing, but either way I ain't standing over there. Yeah, we're going to see if we can get her to fire off. I think it's been years and years since it's ran. But, time will tell here. I don't think it's going to spark either, so... I have to get in the distributor and file the points. I'll put you guys right here. And up in the sky... Oh yeah, right there. I filled around with it a little bit to see if it had spark and it didn't, so that's where I stopped. So we'll pop the old cap off and see what it looks like in here. Not too bad yet. It's even got the little plastic cover goes in here and most people throw away. That's pretty neat. I may throw that that thing away yet. Put some power up the battery and see if I make something spark in here. Sorry about the wind today. It's kind of breezy, but at least it's not 100 degrees like it's been. So that's kind of nice. Now I'll run the old file through here. See if we can get some sparkles. Yeah, it has a 
it sparkles for a second, but. And we'll take and run through there again. Set of jumper cables. Put up jumper cables that I'm going to use for juice for the coil. Put that down there. So I guess the right thing to do after it's been sitting for the last 25, 30 years is just put gas down the carburetor and crank it over and see what happens. That seems like the right thing to do, I imagine. Hopefully the battery holds up. I don't think it's got a full charge in it. Mm -hmm. so I'll put plenty of gas on the carb. We got juice hooked up. All right, hopefully this is the first start and Probably damn near 30 years. Go ahead and crank it. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at that! I think cranked right off just right now. All right, let's see if it'll do it again. Yep, I'm going to put some more gas in my bottle here. Be yeah. right back. Alright, we're back with some gas. God, I can't believe that thing just fired right off. I'm going to try filling the bowl up. Since I don't have a radiator, I can't run it for very long. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the old bowl leaks really good. All right, hit her again. Get a little throttle. Okay. God, I think this is freaking phenomenal. That little whole holly carburetor just leaking like a freaking sieve. Hopefully she don't backfire or anything, because we'll have ourselves a good old fire, probably. Yeah. Burn the thing down. Yeah, we don't have any snow. No, we ain't got no snow to throw on her. All right, take three. Fire her up. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
Yeah, we'll just see what happens when we put this in here. Try to flood the shit out of it. I don't know. Yeah, Alright, try it. Again. Oh, it might be stuck in too, I don't know. Do the right thing, we'll tap on a little bit. from what I'm putting in there. Amazingly easy. Yeah. Shit, you took it cracked right off. This thing with a fuel system and a radiator in it, cooling system. Mm -hmm. Hell, I think it'd be a good runner. Yeah. I would probably get a windshield. <laughs> That's awesome. more gas here and we'll run it for just a little bit more but they're not running any more past that. I know carburetor's dried out. It's just leaking like a sieve. There again.
fuel too. You keep feeding her the fuel. Well, she is thirsty, old son of a bitch, though. Sound bad at all. Got this a little bit of IH liquor quick, but just gotta kind of get pumped back up again too. As you guys seen, the old 71 IH started right up, which is really phenomenal. So hopefully the transmission's good in it. It's got an automatic in it. It's got a Borg Warner transmission. I think this year was like the last year of the Borg Warners before they started putting Torque Flight 727s in them. This thing's got like 410 gears according to the sheet. It's got a locking differential and a 392. So I bet it's a low-geared running outfit down the highway at 60, 65. Sounds like it's screaming its guts out, but it should pull about anything there is, though. I don't know if I can get in here or not. I can find a key for the damn thing, too. Or an ignition switch, one or two. All right, well, anyway, that, there's the will run on the old 71 International. So, you guys like content like this? You might want to subscribe to the channel. Comment, share, like, all that good stuff. So, with that, until the next one, thanks for watching. Bye.